Hi everyone, welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this is your daily reading for all zodiac signs. Thank you all so much for being here. We're going to get started with a couple of oracle cards from the Whispers of Love and then I will go into some tarot. Again, this is for all zodiac signs, your daily reading. Okay, your first card out, it says demonstrate love. See the beautiful artwork, demonstrate love. I'm going to set these back here and reflect on them during the tarot and then I will go back to them a little bit later in the reading. All right, and that's the number 48 for those of you who are interested in numerology. Look up the number 48 and you can add four and eight together. All right, what else do we have for today? It says simple acts of kindness. Beautiful, simple acts of kindness. I like that, especially for a daily reading. Keep it simple, keep it simple. Okay, so I'm going over here to the Rider Tarot deck. I'm gonna do a three card reading. So your first card will be recent past energies benefiting you now or affecting you now, your current energies, and then future energies, like where, where this is all leading, okay? So this is a daily reading, but it could be affecting the next several days, okay? All right, what does everyone watching need to know? What does everyone watching need to know? Thank you all so much for being here. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and remember the notification bell. I'm uploading videos on a regular basis, so that way you won't miss anything. Okay, your first card out is the Three of Swords. Okay, so I was just talking about three days, like past, present, future, yesterday, today, tomorrow. So this could indicate three days, or even three weeks, or three months, okay? And there's more to that card too, which I will read into after I draw all the tarot. We have the Queen of Wands, which came out for yesterday's reading. Beautiful, present energies, very beautiful, attractive, and near future, the full, beautiful new beginnings, new beginnings and moving out of any heartbreak um, that may have to do with the Three of Swords card. Okay, moving out of that onto something new. Beautiful, okay, I like that. I like the succession of these cards. So I'm going over to the Angel Wisdom Tarot now to clarify. We are clarifying the Three of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Fool. What does everyone need to know? What does everybody need to know? I hope everybody had a great Halloween. I'm recording this on actually uh, Halloween day. Actually, but this is a timeless reading. Just so you know, it doesn't have to be near Halloween when you're watching. It is intended for whenever you decide to come to this video. All right, what does everybody need to know? Okay, so clarifying, ooh, clarifying the Three of Swords, we have the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Air is um, what it's called in this deck, but it's the Ten of Swords in the Major Arcana. So that's really nice that the Ten of Swords is clarifying the Three of Swords because that means the end of a difficult cycle, the end of heartbreak, um, and it's going to bring you great relief. Okay, I like that. And many of you are already experiencing this. You may be feeling like leftovers today of uh, something that was unsettling. All right, I got three popping out here and normally I don't take three pop outs at once, but I'm feeling it. So let's see, how do we do this? I'm clarifying the Queen of Wands. We have the Four of Earth, which is the Four of Pentacles. Clarifying the Fool, while well, we have the Lover, so there could be a Libra or Gemini listening, or this could be about a Libra or Gemini, or you could have either of those in your chart. That doesn't have to be the case. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, so we've got the Lovers clarifying the Fool. Oh, and an extra card with a little bug on it. How did that happen? Ugh. I guess that's extra love. <laughs> the sun card, look at that. The sun card wanted to come out. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna put that right here. Oh, I'm all excited now. That's beautiful. So let's start here with the three of swords. So this could be three days, three weeks, three months. This could have to do with timing. If you'll notice, there's clouds and rain in the background. So know that the clouds and the rain never last forever. This is a temporary situation. 
For those of you who are experiencing heartbreak, heartache, um, I'm terribly sorry for that. I know it's easier said than done when um, someone says this too shall pass, but it will. It will. And we see here with the Ten of Swords um, confirming that it will pass. Okay, you're at the end of a really difficult cycle. It says the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders, the end of an addiction, and a melodramatic reaction. Okay, so for some of you, um, you could be um, staying in the grief energy a little bit too long. Um, definitely acknowledge your grief, but don't let your um, crying and tears um, carry you away. Okay, definitely let it out. It's good to cry. It's good to let it out. Definitely. But don't stay stuck in that energy because if you see in the Ten of Swords card here, the door is open and the sun is shining and he's got a suitcase and he's moving on. He's leaving those swords behind. It's time to move on and you will be and I think many of you are in the process of moving on. Okay, it's this is temporary. This too shall pass. Present energies, we have the Queen of Wands, whether you're male or female, you're very attractive right now, you're very attractive today. Uh, maybe somebody is wanting your attention. Um, look up the spiritual meaning of the sunflower if you like to do that. And just like with this reading, take what resonates and leave what doesn't because there are many different belief systems, okay? Um, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't when you look these symbolisms up. I'm the Queen of Wands, okay? So she's very confident. Um, kind of um, charismatic like we see in the King of Wands card but that was really popping out like um, you just really are um, like abundant right now okay so even though some of you have been experiencing a heartbreak something difficult the end of a difficult cycle <clears throat> you are getting back to yourself um, people are noticing you people are noticing that you are feeling yourself again like I think I'm getting many of you something about your complexion like your your complexion is brighter like you have your glow back okay you have your glow back okay beautiful i like that and clarifying this we have the four of earth so fours can symbolize stability and balance um in the four of earth card it's the four of pentacles in the uh, traditional deck it says managing your resources wisely extremes in how you give or receive money time or emotions smart business decisions and seeing things as black or white and being charitable okay so as far as seeing things as black or white um be careful about that thinking okay um certainly use your discretion with everything if you need to make a decision about something that you must move on from absolutely do so um just be careful that you aren't limiting yourself in your ways of thinking so when you're trying to um label something as good or bad um, just take note of that and then um, think about what you are reflecting on what is good or bad now certainly there are things we know are, are not good for us okay definitely that's why I say use your discretion but if it's um, a situation where you're trying to um, jump to label something just for the sake of um, forcing mental clarity uh, that's just that's just not going to be good for you because you won't be seeing the whole picture okay like um i don't like this i don't like that well wait a minute let's look a little bit more into that if you don't like something or someone fine that's absolutely fine but it's important to ask yourself the reasons why and that will help you stay in tune with yourself and help you keep your boundaries okay because sometimes when we make rash decisions we end up lowering our boundaries down the road okay i don't know if that means something to anyone listening i sure hope so please comment below if it does and i wanted to go back to the queen of wands um she's very abundant and independent um very attractive like i said and creative you're creating something it's time to go back to creating something time to get back to yourself um time to have, feel that glow and have that glow embrace your usual glow okay be yourself again okay and then we have the fool okay this is a new beginning taking a leap of faith the fool is carrying a really light load okay he's not carrying a heavy suitcase like we see in the ten of swords the ten of swords like this person is packing up and leaving they're like i am 
out of here. I am done with this. I'm out of here. It's over. Okay, and that's good. But that takes us here to the full card. A much lighter load. He's only carrying with him what he needs, okay? And he's got his little dog friend with him. And the dog to me is like a guardian angel, okay? And like, it's not like he's really about to jump off of a cliff. Like the, the ground might be right there. He's just ready to go and um, just take take what comes his way, okay? You could be male or female. I'm just saying he because it looks like a male figure to me, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but just take what comes. The sky is bright. The sun is shining. And here we have the sun down here, right? Another major arcana. And this says, a time for joy and success. Brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities. Plans that work out perfectly. Gratitude to the divine, okay? So this beautiful major arcana of the sun card is blessing shining down on you. See the sun here in the full card as well. So it is time. It's definitely time. This journey is being blessed. Time to move on. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go over here to the lovers because the lover was clarify lovers was clarifying the full another major arcana. Embrace true love and deep intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. Beautiful, beautiful. So if this has to do with an illness, the three of swords, if this has to do with an illness or a surgery, um, this indicates recovery from that. Call on God and your guides and angels to assist in your recovery. I'm getting St. Michael. I get St. Michael a lot. Call on St. Michael and um, embrace love, embrace true love and deep intimate friendships. Okay. So I'm getting that back. So I'm getting that back. What am I saying? Um, getting that message again. I don't know why I said back. Um, if there is someone, um, a friendship or something that has broken up here, there's a new friend coming in for you. Um, meditate on the color, the color green at your heart chakra, like we see in the lover's card. Okay, open your heart to a new, better friendship. Open your heart to that because it's there for you. Just use your discretion and don't rush, okay? And intimate friendships, make choices from the heart, vibrant health or recovery from an illness. I just wanted to go over those key words, key definitions again, okay? This could be a Gemini or a Libra, but not necessarily. So let's go back to the sun one more time, a time for great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities and plans that work out perfectly. So I really like this. I like the hourglass and the unicorn on this card, different symbolisms that you can look up. Just take what resonates, take what feels right for you, and you may get additional messages. Very beautiful. Okay, so let's go over here to the Whispers of Love cards again. Demonstrate love. And it says, find out what is important to those you love and act on it. Okay, so maybe someone is in need of a very um, thoughtful gift from you. Okay, maybe it's a visit from you with something small, maybe their favorite, like pastry or flour or something like that. Someone needs you to reach out to them. And that, again, is the number 48. And this one here is the number five, change, card of change, simple acts of kindness. Like I was just saying, maybe somebody needs you to come visit them or maybe someone's coming to visit you who will be um, extending some acts of kindness. It says kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. And look at the beautiful girl on this card with all these pretty, beautiful, beautiful forest animals. So maybe reaching out to animals, maybe donating or volunteering at a shelter will help you to feel better, okay? I think this will help you feel better. And animals don't talk back, right? We've got everything here. We've got the fox, deer, rabbits, chipmunks. There's a beautiful butterfly, which indicates transformation. So allow this healing to come in and share your love with others, share your love with animals, okay? I think many of you listening are thinking about volunteering at an animal shelter, and I strongly encourage that if you are able. Um, that would be a beautiful thing to do. I'm, I'm a true animal lover, and I always encourage that. Let's see what we have here from the Secret Garden deck to wrap up your reading. Oops, I just fumbled there. Okay, what do we have from the Secret Garden deck? What does everyone need to know? Thank you all so much for being here. Please comment below how this is resonating. It would be a great support to my channel and to one another, to everyone listening. Okay, we have Be Present. 
Use the hours, don't count them. And that came out for yesterday too. Use the hours, don't count them. I like that. So be in the present moment, be here now, be here now. Even if you're still in a place of grieving, let it, let it all out. Let yourself cry if you need to, let it all out, but don't hold back from looking at the future. Don't hold back from looking at today. What's happening today? What is better today? Write it down if you need to. What is better today? What is looking promising today? We have generosity, so seeds of kindness. Like I was saying, maybe reach out to animals, okay? Now, when it comes to other people, it's important not to overextend ourselves. I'm, I, I'm always guarding against um, enabling. We don't want that to happen, but it's also important to extend our love and kindness to others, even if it's just showing someone appreciation at the grocery store who is bagging our groceries. Okay, that means so much more to people than we realize sometimes when we are in a rush. And to those of you who are needing this appreciation, it's coming in for you today, the next couple of days. Um, open your heart to it, okay? Um, whatever you have had to turn away from, that's in the past. And open your heart to something better okay everyone thanks so much for being here please like share and subscribe and I will see you again soon